Hello, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm gonna go a bit more in depth about how to care for leaf insects. Uh, since a lot of people have been asking questions, I figured I may as well make a video about it. It's not that difficult, it's just a small few things you have to, take, um, to pay attention to. Uh, this is my, um, my leaf insect breeding box, I guess I could call it. This is where I keep my youngs after they hatch. I keep them uh, in a smaller cage because when they're small, they uh, uh, I want to make sure that they get to the food. And if there's a lot of open space in the, in their in their enclosure, they may get lost and not feed. So I uh, tend to uh, have a box that's appropriate for the size of the animals. Uh, so smaller animals in smaller boxes, and then when they grow, they get a bigger bigger box. Um, as you can see, it's quite simple. I just have a glass cube uh, with some foam in it, which I stick the plants in. Um, then I fill it with water and I cover the, the top with uh, some uh, pl plastic foil so that the droppings don't get into the water and so that the animals don't get into the water. Uh, this is to keep the plants from dying. If there's too much uh, droppings getting into the water, uh, the water will get uh, well disgusting and the plants will die. And with this method, I can um, keep them going for um, about two weeks, three weeks without having to feed them because the, the plants will stay alive and there's plenty of food in them for that period of time. So uh, less work for me. And since I have quite a lot of boxes, it saves uh, a lot of work. Um, this box is very uh, low in ventilation. It only has a ventilation strip on the top here. They don't need that much ventilation. Uh, common belief is that leaf insects need a lot of ventilation. This is not true. You keep them in glass boxes, keep them dry, they'll be fine. Um, I don't spray with a spray bottle like this. Uh, I do have it uh, for uh, young nymphs in the first stages. I usually spray the, the leaves a little bit so they can have something to drink. Uh, but that's only when they've just hatched. Once they start eating, I don't use the spray bottle at all because uh, moisture just makes things moldy and, and well, good for bacteria and, and, fu and fungus. So I don't spray them at all. Um, so that's how I keep the young. Um, I keep the eggs in uh, boxes like this. This box does not contain eggs from leaf insects but from other species of stick insects, but I keep all my um, hatching boxes the same way. I just put a thin layer of soil, which is moist, um, but not wet. Then I lay the eggs on top and then I, um, that's about it. I just leave them like that for a few months. And then in the lid I have a few small holes, just enough for a little air to go in, but um, as little as possible because you don't want too much air, moisture to evaporate from the box because then it will get very dry. Um, that's how I keep the eggs. It's very simple. Um, if I have too many eggs and I can, I'll freeze uh, everything I don't need so they don't hatch and then I just throw them away because uh, they're gonna lay hundreds to like thousands of eggs depending how old they get and how many you have so you're never gonna be able to take care of that many babies so you gotta control your population a little bit uh, this is how I keep the adult animals uh, Sunlight's a little bit reflective. And in this cage, I have uh, another species of leaf insects, Philium um, tobalunsa, I think it was called. And um, here's my last few adult Philium giganteums. Um, they're just uh, big glass terrarias. I keep some soil on the ground uh, and I just leave the eggs in there. And then once in a while, I clean it out. I uh, feed these bramble and I feed the, um, the smaller ones uh, um, Rubus tricolor or uh, rose because it's a bit easier to feed uh, because bramble is very spiny and as you can see this has no spines on the stems so it's easier to handle. Um, you can also feed them oak but my experience with oak is that the leaves will die off really quickly and uh, you have to feed them oak every five days or so and that's more work and I'm lazy so I rather feed them bramble because then I can feed them once every two weeks and, uh, I just have it in vases 
you can cover up the faces with um, plastic foil as well if you're scared of animals crawling in but since my animals are way bigger than the hole they won't crawl in so I just leave it like that um, you can have around I think eight adults in a cage like this quite easily but five or less is probably better uh, if there's too many of them in a cage they will have a chance of chewing on each other when they cannot find another leaf to eat uh, because of that you also have to make sure you keep them fed constantly like this cage here is a little bit low on leaves I probably have to add some more because um, they may chew on each other if they cannot find something to eat and uh, don't want to have that because the will damage the animal doesn't matter too much if they eat on each other because they usually eat on the sides of the abdomen and it, there's no uh, organs in there it's just uh, exoskeleton so uh, it will not harm the animal uh, lethally it will just damage it which is not that pretty for aesthetic reasons but they'll be fine if they eat on each other so don't be worried about that oh I think that's all I have to talk about um, I don't know what else to add to this uh, I think I've rushed through it quite well <laughs> so I put the kitchen foil or kitchen towels on the on the um, floor of the smaller cubes because it's easier and I just change it when I change the plants and uh, they just eat the leaves and grow there's not that much to it. So I hope someone uh, enjoyed this and had some uh, use for this. And uh, goodbye.